I want to first start off saying uh, congratulations to that boy, Anthony Joshua, my guy. Shout out to my fam, man. Um, about the fight, pretty much this is a fight recap. Um, first of all, congrats on stopping uh, Pavekin in the seventh round. Um, I can't admit when the fir- when the fight first started off, I was kind of worried about Anthony Joshua because he was getting hit with some shit that he shouldn't have been getting hit with, um, especially in the first round when it looked like Pavekin almost dropped his ass with that three piece. You know what I'm saying? He threw a little jab in there, boop. I think it was a left, boop. Stumbled him, then he came back with the right, bam. And then I think it was like a quick uppercut jump, boop. And he had AJ a little, you know what I'm saying, a little wobble. You know what I'm saying? Um. I think primarily that comes from, and you know, maybe they're gonna say I'm being biased, and 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 and, because I like Anthony Joshua, but I think he has a problem with fighting small, uh, short fighters. Usually in the heavyweight division, these dudes are like six four, six five, six six, six seven. You know what I'm saying? Deontay Wilder probably like six ten. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is tall. Um, so when you fighting a dude that's like. 5'11", you know, 6 foot. Anthony Joshua was trying to drop down to his height um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the beginning of the fight instead of just working off the jab and being comfortable. And a lot of the times when um, he, he, he backs up, he got this habit of, of freezing. He'll, he'll step back, but he'll just keep his guard up. And he won't uh, he won't exchange really when he's backing up on the back foot. He'll kind of just uh, and put his up, and then that's when um, you know the shorter fighter can get in close, uh, throw them power punches, bow. You know what I'm saying? So he he was definitely catching Anthony Joshua with some some good shit. I think he bust his nose the first round of the fight, um, had him leaking. Needless to say, um, after the first three rounds, that's when you see Anthony Joshua begin to pick up the pace a little bit. He found his comfort zone. What I want to say is um, I'm not too positive on how I think Anthony Joshua will face off against Deontay Wilder. I think he may need another fight um, or two before he faces off against Deontay Wilder. Only because Deontay Wilder has incredible fucking reach and even his jabs are, are enough to stun motherfuckers. I have, I have seen Deontay Wilder hit motherfuckers with jabs, you know what I'm saying? Boop! And they be, you know what I'm saying? They be like, damn! You know what I'm saying? So imagine if he was to uh, Joshua was to be backing up, kind of like Luis Ortiz did. And I mean, I mean, Bermain Stavern did, and then Wilder put some leverage behind him. One of them shots, one of them overhand. You know what I'm saying? One of them overhand. <laughs> one of them joints. You know what I'm saying? Definitely going to fuck to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And not to say that Anthony Joshua's chin has not been tested yet, because it definitely has been tested when he fought Klitschko. Um, you've seen him get dropped, and you know what I'm saying? He got back up and he did his thing, but Deontay Wilder Chen has also been tested against Luis Ortiz, and I forgot what round it was. I think it was around fifth or sixth. It was looking a little shaky, baby. You know what I'm saying? Even when he came out for the next round, he was still kind of, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, shit. Ooh, damn. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, congratulations to Anthony Joshua, man. Um, once again, pack the stadium. It's always a, a, a monumental event whenever he... He, he boxes. I got to say that the UK definitely shows a lot of love when it comes to boxing, more so than the United States fans do. Um, but I think this fight should happen summer of next year, if not fall of next year. This fight has to happen. I don't think it should happen next because I don't think, like, I, don't get me wrong. I like Anthony Joshua. Uh, I, I, I like how he is inside the ring and outside the ring. What worries me is just little these little things he needs to work on before he faces off against Deontay Wilder. And I'm not mad if he takes another fight or two, because at the end of the day, um, 